All right, so this right here, guys, this right here is the biggest G.I. Joe haul I think I've ever had on my channel. This is a big ass box of club exclusives, some convention stuff, but I did a trade with my buddy Michael Taylor. I'm gonna unbox this thing. I know some of the figures that are in here. Uh, apparently there's some extras in here as well. These 3.75 inch figures, this 25th line, 30th line, 50th line, is my go-to line. This is my definitive line when it comes to G.I. Joes. I know that these are cool. I know that the six inch Joes are cool. They're new, but I'm telling you, this line right here, what's inside here? The best Joe line ever created. Let's do it. All right, I opened the box and uh, I just kind of sifted through here a little bit and this is freaking bonkers. Uh, so let me just go through these one by one, show you what's in here. They're all bagged up. And what I think I'm gonna do after we're done going through this whole unboxing here is I'm gonna unbox each and every one of these figures. I'm gonna get their accessories on. I'm gonna get their stands on their feet and show you these guys in their glory. So let's do this. Starting with, this is Pythonia or Pythana. I will take these out of the bags at the end of this episode and you'll see these guys all loose accessoried out. But this is Pythona Cobra La Emissary. Next we have the Cobra Elite Vanguard. This is the Crimson Guard Immortal right here. Next we have Ninja Commando Dojo. This right here is Sneak Peek. Next we have Charbroil. We've got Ninja Commando Bonsai. We've got Kim Arashikagi, also known as Jinx. If you watch the G.I. Joe animated movie, there is Jinx. Here's another one that I have been wanting for quite some time now. This is Frostbite. This is Keel Hall. We have The Rite of Might, Salvo. And uh, if I ever found this shirt, if anyone ever produced that t-shirt, I would buy that t-shirt. Same with the Outback Tiger Force shirt. I would buy that as well. Next so we have Muskrat. Very cool figure. Originally came out in, I think this was part of the 88 wave. Next one is hard to see because his stand is literally directly in front of him, but this is wide scope. Looks like Shockwave, the G.I. Joe Shockwave, not the Transformer Shockwave. But uh, the, hey, there's a nice shot of his stand <laughs> right in front of him right there. But he will be coming out of bag, don't worry. Here is a fast draw, AKA quick draw, right there. Here's another ninja, Night Creeper Leader, Supreme Ninja Master, right there. All right, here's the guy that I actually had the original figure of. This was one of my favorites when I was a kid, but it is Psych Out, right there. We have Recoil. We have the driver of the Wolverine. The tank, the badass tank, which they never made for 25th. I wish they did, but this is Cover Girl. This is a uh, Cobra figure that I did not have when I was a kid, but my friend had it and I was very envious of him because I always thought it was a badass looking figure, but this is Raptor right here. This one right here I did have as a kid. This was uh, one of my favorite Cobra figures and he is Crystal Ball. We have uh, the son of Cobra Commander, also known as Billy, also known as Toy Bills, right there. Billy Arbok, he's big on Instagram, likes Star Wars a lot. Samurai Warrior Budo, right there. Here is another one that I have been after for quite some time now. Uh, it is Law and Order. Again, 86 animated movie, Law and Order, badass. Another doggo. I love the figures that come with doggos. Mutton Junkyard, Snake Eyes and Timber. Former basketball player, Big Lob, right there. We have, uh, this is from, I think the 30th wave, but it is Crazy Legs. This is one of the ones I definitely needed from 30th. This is a guy that um, I never had as a kid. I think this was in the 88 or 89 wave. 
but it is repeater with a big old gun. This is a Ninja Commando Bushido. Very, very colorful. These ninjas are gonna look very cool uh, posed together, but there's Bushido. We have one of my favorite G.I. Joe characters of all time. I liked him a lot. He was also a wrestler. Uh, I distinctly remember him and uh, Serpentor getting into it in one of the cartoon episodes. And I met this man in person. I got his autograph. He even drew a little picture on the figure. It's Sergeant Slaughter. So hell yes. Hell yes, Sergeant Slaughter. He even comes with a little wrestling belt, if you could see it in there. Maybe not, maybe so. Can you see it? Probably not. This is the Cobra Worms officer. What was the name of the vehicle that he drove? Uh, it was a tank. Was it called the Maggot? I don't remember. I think it was called the Maggot. Another ninja! Michael Taylor, holy frick, you threw in a lot of ninjas. This is awesome, though. This is Nunchuck. Badass. Big Boa, right there. Big Boa. The boxing gloves. He is a big figure, too. He is tall. We got Pathfinder. I think this was another 88 or 89 release. So I never got the original when I was a kid, but uh, very, very awesome Pathfinder. We have Treadmark, Assault Vehicle Driver. Treadmark, I don't remember the name of the vehicle that Treadmark drove off the top of my head. And we have Voltar. Awesome, awesome looking figure right there. Beautiful looking figure right there. This one right here doesn't have the file card. I don't remember its name. I don't know if that's a Night... Is that a Night Creeper Ninja? I don't remember. I think that might have been a Storm Shadow right there. And then Michael threw in a bunch of army builders here. So we have one Viper, two Cobra Vipers, three Cobra Vipers, four Cobra Vipers. He threw in, he threw in a lot of extras here. There are two Crimson Guards. Make that four Crimson Guards. Four just Cobra Troopers right there. Female Cobra Trooper right there. Blonde Mrs. Cincy Cobra Trooper right there. And then, last but not least, some green shirts. Some G.I. Joe green shirts, which I don't have any green shirts. I mean, I have the 13 original Joes. I don't consider them green shirts. The green shirts are basically the guys you would see in the cartoons that were just in the background. They were like the infantry guys. So now I have the very, very fun task of taking all these figures out of the bags. So absolutely freaking happy with this box. Thank you again, Michael. Let me go ahead and open these guys up and get them posed up. So here's lineup number one. And can I just say how much I have enjoyed taking these figures out of the bags, putting all their accessories in, putting their stands on, because they look freaking amazing. We're gonna start with Keel Hall here. And here's Cover Girl. Frostbite. Sergeant Slaughter. Here's the belt. That I was trying to show you in the previous clip. We've got Psych Out. Sneak Peek. And going to the back row. Jinx. Law and Order. Look at that doggo. Badass. Badass. Got Big Lob. Really, really freaking love this figure. Fast draw, aka quick draw. Really love this figure. Such a, look at this thing. Awesome. Got crazy legs. We got big bad Salvo. The right of might. I want that shirt. But there's lineup number one. Let me show you lineup. Park do. I am having so much fun. Unbagging these dudes, getting them all gunned up. This is lineup number two. We're gonna start with Repeater. Badass. See how much better these Joes look with real guns in their hands and not weird laser rail guns. This is Muskrat. Again, real guns. And moving on to some Ninja Force, here's Budo. A samurai. We've got Nunchuck. We've got Dojo. Very colorful. 
I love how colorful these Ninja Force figures are. We've got Bushido. Very, very cool blue and white. Moving on to the back, this is the figure that was completely obscured by the stand and shield. This is wide scope, SWAT. Look at that gun right there. Badass gun right there with the shield. Char Seriously, hope you guys heard that. Here's Charbroil, the flamethrower. We've got Recoil, we've got Pathfinder, looking very, very cool. And last but not least, we have Treadmark. So there is the very colorful lineup number two. Let's move on to some Cobra figures now. All right, finally some bad guys. Here's the Cobra lineup here. We're gonna start with Pythonia. Jump on it, jump on it. Here's Pythonia, or Pythana. I like to just call her Pythonia. <laughs> but she comes with this cloak if you don't want to display her with the uh, snaky back right there. But she's pretty friggin' awesome, look at her. Moving on to Voltar. Love this figure, badass. He just looks like a badass right there. There's Voltar. Then we go to uh, Billy Arbach. Toy Bills, right there. Check him out on Instagram. Moving on to some ninjas. We got Banzai here. Looking purple. And we've got the Night Creeper Leader. There's his extra weapons right there. Also looking very purple. And then uh, we have Storm Shadow, who could be either G.I. Joe or Cobra. Kind of switches allegiances every now and then. But there's Storm Shadow. I had another ninja here, and then I realized who it was. It's actually Kamakura, so he's going to be in the next clip with some uh, G.I. Joe green shirts. But let's look at the back row here. Big Boa. Big Badass. Big Boxer. He's got lots of extra accessories right there. Little freaking dumbbell set right there. He's gonna pump some iron. This right here, probably one of my new favorite figures in my collection. This is Raptor, and he looks freaking amazing. Look at the wings on him. Just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Really like this figure. Very cool. I got Crystal Ball. And if you see here, a little uh, lenticular action on his shield, crystal ball. Moving on to the uh, Worms Officer. Moving on to the uh, female Cobra Officer, Mrs. Cincy Cobra Officer. The little blonde ponytail there. And her famous battle cry. Do you want to go with me to Hobby Lobby? Does this shirt look good on me? Can you put the clothes in the dryer for me? How do I look in this bathing suit? Can you help me plant these flowers outside? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for that. And then, last but not least, Crimson Guard Immortal. The upper echelon of Crimson Guardsmen right there. Awesome, absolutely awesome. He's gonna look great. I'm gonna put him with the uh, Crimson Guardsmen that I got in the Army Builders and Tomax and Zaymod. But uh, very, very cool. There is the uh, Cobra lineup. Next, you're going to see some army builders. These are some army builders and Kamakura right there. <laughs> Since I originally had him with the Cobra figures, I had already finished uh, showcasing the Joes uh, and I was going to show the Cobras and then I realized, oh crap, that's freaking Kamakura. So that's why he is all by himself here. But uh, let's take a look at these real quick. Here are the Cobra Troopers. Looking very, very cool. Different weapons with them. And then we've got some G.I. Joe green shirts. And then we've got some Cobra Vipers in the back. And look at the extra guns there. Holy crap. Lots of extra guns. Like the Vipers a lot. They look freaking badass. And then last but not least, we have some Crimson Guardsmen right there. 
Very, very cool. And then once again, here's Kamakura. There you go, guys. That was an awesome, awesome haul. Uh, but that's it for this video. Big G.I. Joe video. Uh, if you're a G.I. Joe fan, again, 25th, 30th, 50th club convention, best line. Best line ever. I know it's not six inch. I know a lot of people are only six inch figures. Three and three quarter inch is like my definitive size of G.I. Joes. So if anything, the six inch Joes should inspire you to collect more Joes. So there you go, guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you for thumbs upping the video. I uh, appreciate that as well. But that's it for right now. Next video, big ass. Star Wars haul, my biggest Star Wars haul in the history of this channel. It features the smallest Star Wars item I've ever purchased, as well as the largest, the physically largest Star Wars item I've ever purchased. I think it might be the most expensive Star Wars item I've ever purchased as well. I'll see you guys on YouTube. I'll see you guys when I'm live streaming hockey or PS4. I'll see you guys on live streams. I'll see you guys on Facebook, but I'll see you guys later. Adios for now.